the Apgar Village area is one of the first places you come in when you come into the west side of Glacier Park. Um, when you come through that west entrance, you hang a left instead of a right and heading up going to the Sun Road, and you come to Apgar Village. And that's where a lot of these, these series of trails start. This one for me um, was really cool. It's really long because there's just a lot of them. They're broken into three basic categories. For me, there's the bike trails, then there is the um, horse trails, and then there is the um, just the normal hiking paths. Lots of, uh, lots of flat hiking terrain. There's not a lot of hills to walk around, and, and so you get nice meadows, you get views of McDonald Creek. There's an overlook called Oxbow, and that's really just a cool little place, and it's really, really short from where you actually start out. And of course, you know, if you, part of this trail complex includes walking down to the iconic shore of Lake McDonald, which you've seen me down there a couple times, and um, well, we might as well take a look at it because it's pretty dang awesome. Um, yeah, so really nice. There's tons of birds in the area because it's just that uh, open, primarily lodgepole forest. So there's lots of thrushes, which include the robin, the American robin, and um, you know, mountain chickadees, um, nuthatches, which you can hear. I didn't capture any, but you can hear a lot of those. So you can see right here, we have um, this, what looks like a bunch of spit. And inside of it though, is a little tiny creature right there who makes all that. This little tiny bug that protects himself by creating all that spit. So we'll go ahead and leave him alone and let him recreate his home. Lots of really cool fern type areas to check out. Also swung by the corrals over um, kind of where Apgar Lookout starts. And uh, man, I tell you one thing, with all the really cool places to go, kind of a fun way to experience the park. Yeah, overall, really, really cool. Take your family down and uh, and uh, but also make sure that you keep your kids close because um, just like today I saw a black bear. I saw him like three t three separate times as I was kind of looping around the same general vicinity. I named him Pete after seeing him a few times. I decided he needed a name, so um, so we we called him Pete. Um, we're really fun to hike today with a couple of my friends um, who've got a couple of kids. So um, yeah, so Julie and Beth came with me and they brought. Uh, Neve and Gabe, and then a couple, couple of their littlest ones um, as well. So um, that was really fun. And you know, you can bring your your strollers, chariots, whatever you want to, and and go on the bike paths because they're pretty fantastic. So in addition to being muddy today, we got a little bit of water um, on the trail because McDonald Creek is swollen. So one of our little areas that we needed to swing on by had had some water through it. So. Got the girls to go ahead and walk through it. And then we got to a spot where it was almost crotch deep. And so they decided to turn around wisely. However, I needed to go ahead and walk through that trail. So I walked through the water on that trail. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much Apgar Village, the west side. I'm gonna go and take a look at the east side here at some point. I originally had planned on doing um, the Apgar Village area in one day. Um, here I am walking once again through some uh, water because, you know, that's uh, the name of the game. <laughs> but I had originally decided to do Apgar in one day, but it ended up taking me a little bit longer than I wanted to the first day. So anyway, I ended up kind of breaking it to east side of McDonald Creek, which I did first, and then West Side, which I did today. And uh, so, um, I guess the, uh, <laughs> the West Side, ooh, that's cold. Um, the West Side is what I did today, and I think that West Side, it was really awesome. Um, lots of downfall, though. Um, in the highest section, but honestly, it's really great. I don't think many people know about it. Once you uh, kind of over by the Fish Creek campground, or as soon as you come across 
McDonald Bridge. I'd recommend getting over here and uh, there's like nobody over here, but as soon as you come over, the trail's right off to the left side of the road and it goes along McDonald Creek, goes up into the burn area. Um, I saw some sap suckers and an Oriole, I think. And, um, and I, as I was walking along, I heard a little bit of noise up ahead of me and I looked and I thought, oh my gosh, I think it's a pine marten. Turns out, nope, it's a little black bear cub. And he was not making like mom come here noises, thankfully. And uh, I did what any respecting um, camera person would do and stupid. I got out my camera to go ahead and take a look at it. And um, I got him a little bit. Then I quietly left. So mom didn't know that I was there. And then later on I came back and saw where they had totally scratched up all these trees and ripped the bark off these larches. And then um, I also got to see the, uh, where they tore open a log. So, you know, all in all, super, super cool. And uh, yeah, so, you know, just nice open burn area. That's fantastic. You know, flowers, birds, and the like. And then it, you go down by the creek and it opens up nice and, you know, you can hear the grouse strumming and that kind of stuff. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to catch one on video soon.